This is code.org, and let's see what we're doing here. Uh, oh, yep, choose for the following activities. If you're by student, do them all. Let's walk through them, though. Extra code, font family. Ah, font family is a fancy way of saying font type. Find the CSS rule set. Don't let that scare you guys. A CSS rule set. So I've hit the HTML file, style.css. I'm going to click way over here. And you see how it says H1? Anything between this curly bracket and this curly bracket, this is all the rule set. So right now, the H1 tag, right? The pair, uh, that's not a paragraph tag. The H1 is the largest heading. So Animal Farm, right now, the H1 tag is red. And its set font size is set to 24. So this whole thing, line 1 to 4, that is a rule set, a CSS rule set. And then line 6 to 9 is another CSS rule set. That one's for paragraphs. In the style.css file. Okay. Rule set in the style sheet that determines the style for your paragraph tag. That's this one. Change the font family and choose which one you like best. Okay. Font family. Right now it's cursive, so I'm just going to delete the word cursive. I could delete this semicolon too. A little trick, if I go back and delete all the way to the word font family, I'm going to hold shift and put a colon, not a semicolon. It will give me a drop down again. So maybe if I'm struggling to spell it right or I don't know. Ooh, fantasy. Ooh, I might do that. Okay, I like that one. Now I'm going to put a semicolon next to the letter L. Cool. Add a font family rule for H1 or H3 tags. Well, since they already gave us H1 tags, I'm going to go here to line 3. And again, I'm on the style.css file. On line three, my cursor's after the semicolon. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to go ahead and type font hyphen or dash. I'm going to start typing family and I'm going to be lazy. It will autofill if I click this. Boom, with a semicolon. And ooh, I like monospace. So I'm going to click monospace. And if it doesn't give you the semicolon at the end, boom. Oops, I should have said this is a colon. That's right next to the letter L. And you have to hold shift to get that. And this is a semicolon. It's the key next letter L. You don't have to hold shift. If yours isn't showing up, make sure to hit refresh and save. Onward. Extra code. Oh, underlining. I had to do this recently. Uh, find the code in the style sheet that makes the H4 tag double underline. So style sheet. Right away, guys, we should be like, oh, I'm on the HTML page, though. So this links the HTML to the CSS. Where's the CSS? Quipowie. So HTML, CSS. Where's the CSS? Right here. All right. So style sheet, find the code that makes the H4 tag double underlined. Well, here's the H4 code stuff in the CSS. Change the text decoration to something else. Choose from underline, overline, and line through. Oh, wow. Underline double. Okay. And so like always, if I want, I'm going to delete all the way back here where it says text decoration. And now I'm going to hold shift and hit the key next to the letter L. And I can look from the autofill options again. So I might try overline. Let me do a semicolon. If I want this fancy or proper, I can put a space back. Ooh, now I have to add it to the H1 and H2. Oh, add it. Paragraph H1 and H2. Okay, we got this. All right, so I'm going to start typing it again. I put my mouse at the end of line 10. I hit enter. Uh, it's not lining it up, but that's fine. Text. Uh, decoration, I'll just pick from the drop down and I'm going to do, let's do a length root for this one and a semicolon, which is the key next to the letter L. Okay. We've got paragraphs. Now I need to do the H1 tag that's up here for me. So I'm going to put my cursor at the end of line three and hit enter. I'm going to do text and let's see, did it give me the option? We can always just type it out, but let's see if I can find it. Oh, I guess I'll just type it out. And sure, I'll do an overline for this one, semicolon. I always do a semicolon because if you don't and you have code after it, up here, for instance, that might mess up any of the lines below it. So that's why I always do that. Okay, now we need to add an H2 and H3 rule set. So I'm going to line 13. I'm going to type H2, do a curly bracket, which is next to the letter P. I held shift. And now I have these curly brackets. And I'm going to do text decoration. Perfect. I just hit enter, so it auto fills. And I'll do another overline. Now I'm going to get a bit lazy. I'm going to just copy line 14 to 16. And now I'll do it the hard way. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and type H3. I'm going to hold shift and hit the key next to the letter P. Get these curly brackets. Going to hit enter. And on this blank line, I'm going to do a text decoration. Um, let's do a line through. I like it. Semicolon. Cool.
If yours doesn't show up right away, make sure to hit refresh and save. Onward. All right. Align text. Let's see what we got here. Find the CSS code that makes the from Wikipedia and H6 tag align to the right. Okay, CSS code. So over here, style.css is where I clicked. H6 here is line 5 of my style.css. And it says text align right. Oh yeah, you can see here, so I clicked on style.css, and I'm right here where the h6 tag is, text align right, oh yeah, it's to the right. So what would they like us to do? Change the h1 tag so it is aligned to the center. So here's the h1 rule set. I'm going to go to line 3, and my cursor's at the end of line 3, and I'm going to hit enter once. Nice blank new line, now is line 4, text hyphen align, and I can just autofill. I don't need the last, though. And I'm going to just type in the word center, and I'm going to hit semicolon, which is next to the letter L. Notice underneath it, though, I still have this curly bracket, because it has to be between H1 curly bracket and the closing one. Cool, we got that. Change the align of the paragraph tag to paragraph. Oh, okay, so we can just change it. Okay, so I'm going down to line 10, put my cursor then to line 10. I hit enter, and now I'm going to just write text hyphen align. And uh, it just says change it. Maybe I'll do right for the paragraph. I could do center as well, I guess. And good practice, semicolon next to the letter L. You might want to line these guys up too, just for proper formatting. Looking good. Onward. Okay. And now extra code letter spacing. Ooh. So find the CSS code that makes the letters ORCID and the H1 tag be spaced out more than normal. CSS. So I have to go to style. I'm in the index HTML file. I have to go to style.css, h1, h1, spaced out more than normal. I bet it's line three here, letter spacing. Okay, change the h2 tag so that the letters are spaced out by two pixels. Something to keep in mind, guys, on line three here, it says 5px. That means five pixels. So now they're asking the h2 tag to be spaced out by two pixels. So let's see, on line seven, they already have an h2 rule set. The H2 rule set starts on line 7 and goes to line 10. So I need to do code in between that. I'm putting my cursor at the end of line 9, and I'm going to hit enter. And I'll go ahead now and type in letter spacing on line 10. And uh, what do they want? 2, the number 2, PX for pixel, and then a semicolon. And a pixel is like a little dot. Did you see it change? You can always test by doing like 12. Oh yeah, mine's changing. Two. If it doesn't, hit refresh and save. Change the letter spacing of the paragraph and h3 tags as well. Cool. So the paragraph, I'm going to go to line, oh, h3 first, line 14, and put my cursor at the end. In between h3 curly brace and 15 curly brace, hit enter, hit letter, dot, spacing, and I will do, I don't know, 4px, semicolon. I'm going to get a bit lazy. I'm going to highlight what I just did. Hit copy, go down to the paragraphs. At the end of line 20, hit enter, because I need to be in between paragraph curly brace and the closing curly brace. Blank line, hit paste, and I might do, I don't know, six. Let's go crazy. Looking good. Onward. And what do we got? Text shadow. Learn how to give text to shadow. Find the CSS code that gives the letters in... Wow. Oh, Shredverse Violins, a shadow. Okay, so style.css, we're in the index file. I know it's linked to the style sheet by line 4. Style.css, and what's giving this a shadow? It is line 4, right? So because h1 tag, as it says right here, has the shadow. Yep, that's what has the name of these violins here and the HTML. So line 7 has the name of the violins. Now head back to the style right here. Now, give the h2 tag a shadow spaced two pixels to the right and up from the original. Ah, so how can we find out about shadows? Why doesn't my shadow do anything? Let me click here. The default value for the shadow is 0, 0. What does pixels mean? What are possible values? This gives you a lot of information. So what they want is h2. I'm going to go to line 9 here. Hit enter, and I have a blank line 10 now which is inside the h2 rule set. And what do they need? Well, I know it's a text hyphen shadow. Great. And then, what are they going to give me? Nope. Okay. And then it says two pixels to the right. So two px. I'm going to try. And two up. 
2px. Do they give me a color? No, so I'm going to go black colon. Now, how do I know if that's 2 to the left or 2 to the right? Well, let me do 20 for my first number. So does that look like it's going to the left or the right? Obviously the right. So that works for 2. And 2 to the right and 2 up. Well, how do I know if it's going up? Let me do 20. Oh, wait, that's going down right now. So what if I do a negative 20? Oh, yeah, then the shadow goes up. So I'll do negative 2. Give the text shadow to other tags as well. Okay, so h3, I'm going to end the line 14, text, shadow, uh, I'll do 3px, negative 3px, and I'm going to be crazy and try a different color, green. <laughs> that looks weird. I'm now just going to copy line 15 for me, go into my paragraph tags, end of line 20, hit enter, right click, and do control V or paste. And maybe I'll change up this a bit. Maybe it will go downward and purple. They all have shadows. It's all beautiful. Finish. All right, free play. Students, you need to show me for my class each one of these now on your own page. So make sure to just demonstrate that here on this page. My students, make sure to do that. And victory.